Uh, this is a Mazda 6 uh, TS2. First of all, with the wheels on the ground, loosen all the bolts. Then jack up the back of the car uh, with the wheel, usually on a suspension bit, so you've only got to lift up the wheel a, short, a small part. Then you can undo all the bolts and take the wheel off. And that gives you nice, easy access to the brake caliper. Uh, this is a floating brake caliper, so there's only two bolts to undo. So this is the top one. Once it's loosened, you should be able to unscrew with hand and pull it out. And same with the one at the bottom. Loosen it, pull it out. And these are the only two bolts that hold the caliper on. Make sure the car's in gear so that the car doesn't roll away. And let go of the handbrake so that the handbrake's not holding the caliper onto the onto the disc anymore and then you can just wiggle it off by hand and you can leave the brake pads behind where they are uh, here you can see the damage you can see the outer seal's got a bad split in it so now what i'm going to do is um, clamp the hose pipe so this is just taking the nipple cover off so clamp the hose pipe very gently. I'm using a piece of cardboard so that you don't get any tool marks on the hose pipe which would be an MOT failure. So just clamp it very gently. It doesn't need to be squeezed very much at all. Um, put a tray to catch the oil and then what I'm going to do is undo the bleed nipple and make sure that the clamp is clamping it enough so that no oil comes out so that after you've popped the piston out, you put the clamp back on to stop any more oil leaking out of the piston. So you can see there's no oil coming out, so the, the, the clamp's tight enough. Tighten the nipple back up again, because now we're going to push the piston out. Release the clamp. So now I'm going to go around to the car to the foot brake. Um, after I've disconnected the handbrake cable. So the handbrake cable, this will then just allow the, the whole unit to become free once we finish bleeding all the oil out. Go for it. Press it. Yep. So now just keep pressing the brake pedal again. until the piston comes all the way out and oil starts to leak out. Yeah, and again. So there's a bit of oil, we'll go a bit further, there we go yeah. and that's it, so it's pressed again it? and the piston's not moving any further. So now put the clamp on the hose pipe to stop any more oil leaking out of the whole, whole piston. Uh, just press it again now. So this is it, I've disconnected the hose pipe and the whole unit's free away from the car. If you look inside, you can see the screw thread that moves the handbrake automatic adjust. This is the piston removed. You can see it's all pitted around the edge, so the weather's got in, you know, salt from the road, all the dirt and grime, and it's pitted it where the square inner seal goes on the on the cylinder. And you see all the way around, it's it's quite badly pitted. It'll still work, but it is badly pitted, and it's only going to wear carry on wearing really should be replaced so next we'll take the old rubber seal out now this one's got a metal spring that holds the outer larger diameter of the rubber hose to the metal casing so I'm just putting the screwdriver in might be able to see the metal ring. So there it is pulling it out. And that's holding the gator in, the seal into the, the metal housing. Then you should be able to just pull it out. And it's in there pretty tight after being stuck in there for ten years. Easy with two hands.
and there you can see screwdriver I'm just putting it on the square inner seal so this is one that seals the piston into the cylinder this is the one that does the main work so I'm just taking the return spring off the handbrake lever now and if you pull on that you can see that the the inner adjuster moves in and out you just want to do that to make sure that it's working properly and it's not seized these are the new seals so that's the outer seal the, the ring that holds it the outer seal into the housing and the square inner seal this is the grease or the hydraulic assembly oil it's pretty much really just the red axle grease that you can get it says it's compatible with brake fluid so it's all safe to use it's fairly sticky um, just put it around everywhere that's going to need to slide so that's where the um, where the rubber all sits so that's it it's put in as tight as possible into the groove that it fits in because again here the metal rings got to go around the edge so where there's the the red grease there that that's got to fit in So it pushes the, the rubber gator really tightly into the, the housing. So this is it fitted now. And just pulling it out, you can see now that it's, it's securely in there. So the next trick is to how to get the piston in past the smaller hole of that gator. And it's really easy. So um, what I used was four pieces of garden wire with bent hooks on the end to pull open the hole big enough for the piston to fit past. So this is it now here, I've taken a couple of the, the clips out. So I just made these, I would round the ends over further so you don't risk tearing the, the rubber the rubber seal. There it is on the back and now eventually use the right tool to wind the, the piston in. This made it really easy to get it in straight because it just screwed on the handbrake so here it is with the piston inside and you can see the pistons moving out with the handbrake adjuster so you can see everything's working smoothly nothing's stuck and it's going to move freely once you put it back in the car